Okay, so here we have Fumble, and this is how to get logged into Fumble. It's a good idea to start with the user guide. Have a read of that maybe if you like. User guide link is at the front there. Then you click on sign up. Then you have to put a username. So you obviously can't choose a username that's already been chosen by someone else. And then you stick your email in there. This is an email address I've created particularly for this um, for this account. Enter it twice to avoid typos as per standard. And then tick on some boxes as per usual. Click on new user. And then you're now registered. You should receive your password. So click over. There it is from Krista who runs the site. And you get your password there. I'm going to change it for this account. So don't try logging in as me. Actually, this isn't my account. This is one for my son. So I've been uh, This is why I've made another one. That's my original one. So then you put your username and your copied and pasted password into there. And then it logs you in. So there's your account. You've created your account. You then click on Home. And the first time you ever click on Home, you will be given the Fumble rules. So there are the Fumble rules. Have a quick read through them. Some of them are quite important, and it's um, it's w worth having a read through. It's not just your standard terms and conditions. There's stuff in there about concessions. Um, some people may not be familiar with the competition rules packs. Have a look at those and the new teams. There's a little bit on there about the different divisions. Um, there'll be more about those later. Um, concessions is quite important. That's worth reading. And disconnections as well. There are lots of questions on the forums about what to do with the disconnect. Um, generally, the answer is um, contact the admins. Click on accept. And then you're in. That's your account uh, made. Um, and you can have a search around. Before you can play any games, it's a good idea to try and spectate a game. The way you do that is by clicking on home and then map. No, sorry, game, and then current games. And that brings up a list of all the different games that are currently happening. You can spectate them. And by spectating, you're verifying that the um, Java is working properly. Basically, if you can spectate a game, then you can play a game. So click on spectators. And then it'll either launch automatically, depending on the setup of your browser, or it will... Um, or you'll need to click on something. Because of the way my browser is set up, I'm using Firefox, I need to click on any download um, that I do. So once I click on the download, or it might launch automatically, it launches Java. If you don't have Java installed, then you might be prompted to install the most uh, recent version or to install a version at all. So it can take a, little, a couple of moments to open, um, but mostly that's because I've probably got this screen recording software going. While it's opening, you can have a look around. You see the games that are up. The Chobotep Chumps are currently beating the Stone Cold Miners, 2-0. That's almost finished. And at the top, we've got a black box tournament going on, the black box brawl. Ah, there we go. And once this happens, then it's just about to load. Click on Run. You can tick the box there as well. And then it opens up the Java tool. So it doesn't always take that long. Um, depends on how quickly your computer is running. There are some various terms and conditions there. Not really terms and conditions. Credits, that's the word. And then it l opens a game for you. So this is a game that's currently happening between two other people. So you can always watch um, games. And you can hover over players. And it tells you all about them. In the chat box in the bottom right-hand corner, you can discuss the game with other spectators. And those watching, those playing the game can't see those spectator comments, which is which is quite interesting. I've got some high CPU usage, don't know why. I don't really know what that is. I think that's the screen recording software. But basically, once you um, once you know you can spectate, that means you can play a game. So you need to create a team. So you go back to home and then create a team. So the four divisions there are black box, ranked, league, and stunty league. Um, I'm going to create a team in black box. Um, you can click on the rules bit there, and that tells you something a little bit more about each of the division, division divisions. But I know about them, so I'm going to create in black box. So you just click on it, and then you choose your um, choose your race. Choosing fairly randomly, I'm going to go with Norse. Norse, it tells you a little bit about the team there, if you don't know already. 
and you get to choose a team name. You can't choose a team name that's already been used. Um, there, obviously, Fumble's been going for a little while, so lots of the team names are gone. For example, the Glass Hammers, that's gone already. So it won't let you create another one. So you can always just change it slightly. So I've gone for the Glass Hammerers. Um, and then that produces your team there. You can rename the team just after you've done that. But basically, you click on Buy Players, and then you choose the type of player you want and give it a player name. You can call it basically anything you want. Um, the terms and conditions from Fumble that you signed up to earlier say that you can't just call it Ulf Werner 1 or Berserker 1 or Berserker 2. Um, so do give them proper names. Um, you can have a theme of your names. So I'm going with a few superheroes in here. Um, and my autocomplete is telling all the names I've used before. Um, but then eventually I run out of superheroes, I think. Um, and so I just start giving them slightly silly names. So I go with Batman. So I've got a few positionals in there. And you can see at the top, the treasury is decreasing. Every time I buy a new player, my treasury goes down. So it's probably a good idea to plan out your team um, before you just start buying players at random. So if you have a starting build in mind, figure out what it's going to be. Um, figure out some team names, maybe. Um, and then buy the correct players. Um, I'm going to buy just 11 players so that my team is, is valid. Um, you can see the numbers are going up there. So number nine we're on now is called Yup. And number 10 is going to be called Pollet, it seems. And number 11, we're going to go with um, uh, Wurzel. I like the name Wurzel. It's a good one. So that's enough players. So I click on Close. And then you click on Refresh. And that shows you all your 11 players that you've bought. You can then buy a few extra things to go with it. So you click on add to add some re-rolls. I'm going to go with three rolls, bearing in mind how much money I've got in the treasury down the bottom. Um, and I'm going to buy an apothecary as well because Norse tend to die quite quickly. Um, and then you submit for approval. Check your team name complies. And then your team has been created. Um, and then once it's done that, the way to play in black box is to activate for next round. Um, but uh, because of the time that I chose, the, um, it shows that activation isn't actually possible for another seven minutes. Um, but there may be another video at some point about how to activate and how to get an actual game um, in black box or in the different um, things. But this is how you create your um, account, basically. Hope that's been useful and watch out for more videos in future.